So people in the past have told me, well, you know, Trump can't really implement those things. He wouldn't have enough support in the House and in Congress. Well, now we have an overwhelmingly Republican House and a Republican majority Congress. Um, what makes you think he can't push that kind of shit through? So we're going to see an end to abortion. We're going to probably see an end to uh, the good sides of affirmative action. We're going to probably see the end of a number of uh, things that have to do with discrimination, you know, anti-discrimination, I should say, you know. Uh, we're going to see an end to women getting paid uh, the same as men. We're going to see an end to gay marriage. We're going to see an end to uh, uh, millions of people having health care who didn't previously. And uh, yeah, millions of people who were originally qualified under Obamacare to, to still be able to get procedures done even though they had a pre-existing condition. You know, well, it's okay. Those people can die. And gay people can die. And, you know, women can die. And all these people can die. Uh, poor people can die. Uh, those who survive on disability income can die. Those who are on survivor benefits from uh, military, uh, they can die. It's okay. Because we didn't vote, for, you know, as long as we didn't get Hillary in, in office. It's all good. You know, we, we have enough Republicans now in office, or we will, I should say. Um, there could be another constitutional amendment that would essentially repeal, uh, you know, a, well, you don't really repeal things like, like that. It, once there's a constitutional amendment, you have to sort of override it, um, but you don't repeal it. So that would, that would override all of the Civil Rights Acts since 1964. The uh, thorn in uh, staunch Republicans' side. Many uh, staunch Republicans think that one of the biggest mistakes we ever made was uh, starting with the, the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It's doubtful that Trump will veto a lot of the stuff, the, the crazy stuff the Republicans push through. You know, and he's got such a personality, you know, it can, it can be similar to Reagan in that regard, you know. You can do terrible things, and because you have the, the right personality, well, you know, oh, he's blunt, and, but he says that he loves this country, and he loves the people, and he loves this, and it's all wonderful and glorious, and, uh, you know, <laughs> ten-syllable phrases. So, you know, he can get things pushed through that uh, Republicans have never been able to actually dream of. And it's okay, because, you know, it's not Hillary. So, potentially, in the future, millions of people dying needlessly because you didn't want Hillary. I hope you're happy with yourselves. You know, I might end up living on the street. My mother might be on the street. Many people I know might be on the street. Many old people might be on the street. Many black people might be on the street. And what do you think happens when that many people are put on the street needlessly? Because, you know, people didn't want Hillary. You know, what, what do you think happens? I'll leave that to you.